Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, in my uh, travels today, the one question I keep getting, when is it going to warm up? Well, we're still seeing signs of the temperatures finally moderating by the middle and the end of the week. In the meantime, we're going to keep the chill tonight right on through tomorrow. In fact, we have chilly rain showers on the way for part of Tuesday. We're just cloudy, cool and dry in places like Providence right now. The temperature coming in at 39. The winds are light. The air is dry. I mean, it's a quiet weather night. And even tomorrow, we don't have any kind of a storm coming, but we do have some scattered showers at times in Smithfield uh, 39 degrees cloudy skies Tiverton a little cooler now at uh, 37 will fall down into the uh, mid 30s during the overnight Cumberland checks in at 39 threat tracker now through <clears throat> through Tuesday and Wednesday low level green nothing really significant or high impact no big storms even though for a time tomorrow especially during the afternoon some light uh, chilly rain showers working in could even be a few wet snowflakes mixed in and I'm not expecting a snow day tomorrow but within some of these colder rain showers, uh, some wet snowflakes may be mixing in at times, but overall the precipitation on Tuesday up. Uh you know, it's more of a nuisance than anything really serious. Clouds on the increase across uh, southern New England and tracking really two systems. Uh, one is across the Midwest and the upper levels of the atmosphere and another one off the uh, the Carolina coastline. So both of these will kind of work in tandem to give us the cloud cover and some light scattered precipitation from roughly later tomorrow morning and through the afternoon and early evening. Early tomorrow morning actually starting off dry. Yeah, a lot of blue on the map. I mean, naturally, a, a springtime night is normally cool, but even during the day, it's been really hard to warm things up across the northern part of the country. Our high temperature this time of year is just the average high is just shy of 60. We won't even, won't even be close to that tomorrow. So future cast is watch the time bar right in here, showing the clouds um, on the increase. Now, early tomorrow morning, it's actually dry. Kids heading out to school, heading out to work. And then by late morning and certainly during the afternoon, some scattered uh, light rain showers. One o'clock, it's only in the mid 40s. And again, a couple of wet snowflakes may be mixing in at times. Four o'clock in the afternoon, that's it, only 46 scattered rain showers. Into the early evening, this is seven o'clock at 40. And then later tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, we clear out. And this actually sets the stage for a pretty decent uh, Wednesday. Futurecast tomorrow morning, cloudy and chilly. Any scattered showers sometime after 10 or 11 a.m. And then during the afternoon, off and on, cool rain showers. A couple of wet snowflakes may mix in. Your know, high temperatures only between 40 and 45. Wednesday's much better. 52 upper 50s on Thursday and then look at this come Friday and Saturday talk about spring we start to see signs of warmer air coming up the east coast mid 60s on uh, sa uh, Friday and then Saturday potentially getting to near 70 the only downside with this despite the warm up is that it's brief look at the huge drop in temperature by the second half of the weekend on Sunday, we're back into the 40s with some rain and that rain spilling over into Marathon Monday. I mean, that's seven days out, but right now we're going with wet weather for the race in Boston uh, early next week. Uh, just showers tomorrow. All right. Thank you, Tony.